Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, it is right, uh, Lavanya. I hope you are able to get the right answer. Yes, Madhu, I am getting your messages. Um, to have the results printed in the message box. Okay, Pavni, you are done. Okay, see here, Madhu. When you have the message box, okay, the moment you open the packet over here, do you see there are, you know, there is like prompt and all? Okay. Yeah, and there is an ampersand symbol, okay, which I will be showing you now. You can have all the values printed on the same line. Yes. Yeah, can anybody tell me how? See, what I want to do is, I want to, you know, have the message in this format, okay. The sum is, and then, you know, I should get the result over here. And then comma difference is right can you find out and tell me how should I display the output in this format I should get like this okay the sum is the value and then the difference is what value okay yes debug viewer is not uh, displaying to you Madhu I think you know it is not installed on your system yeah I have the solution for that wait let me give it to you Okay, I'm sending the patch uh, to you, Madhu. Okay, so you click on that, you know, and you install it. Your problem will be solved. Okay, your debug viewer may not be installed. Install it and then your problem will be solved. Okay, you are not able to execute step by step. Uh, who is this? Prerna. Prerna, do you see here? Look here on my screen. Okay. Go to debug and then click on step into. Do you see Prerna? Go to debug and then say step into. If the debug viewer is not there, let me know. Okay, so it can be installed. Means if that patch is missing or something, you know, it will not be appearing sometimes. If you are, it's not working for you, no problem. Okay, I'm sending the patch for you also. You got to click on that and then you should install that patch. It will start working. Okay. Okay. Yes. So who is going to, you know, like find out this one? I want you to explore and find out. Okay. How do we display this kind of result? I mean, there should be a statement. There should be value that is present in the variable a statement again and then the value that is present in the variable okay so explore and tell me how do you display the result like this in the vb scripting okay yes go ahead find it out let me see okay i will check and tell you okay you have to just install one patch and it will start working Okay. 
yes so how do you modify this program now it is very simple okay like we have v sum we will declare some more variables like you know v difference and then v product all right and then we want v sum v difference v product and then v quotient and then v remainder okay so like we have done the addition similarly we will do the okay here you know it is instead of concatenation i'll be calling this as addition minus then multiply Oh, screen is frozen. Sorry, I forgot to you know share it. Then we have the star. And then we have the slash. Yes. And what is uh, this for the mod? Anybody? What is the operator for um, the remainder sorry i said it i think you know yeah it is a mod okay mod mod this is it okay and instead of like v sum i say v difference and then v product then v question okay then v remainder fine okay now we got to print all of them how do we print okay you got it right answer neha what is that okay we remainder oh okay you did that like that okay yeah you have used the mathematical operation that's fine neha okay but this is you know like uh, more efficient way of doing it okay just with one functionality you can do it one operator all right okay and how do we display uh, the format that i mentioned to you see it is simple i got to say here i open the bracket and then in the double quotes okay i write the sum is and then I give a space over here then I use ampersand v sum okay then again ampersand all right difference is space and then again ampersand v difference again ampersand v product is this what you were asking madhu v product is and then space then we have ampersand okay sorry product is you know and v product again ampersand next is after product what do we want mm, the question right so i write it here question is and then lastly we want the remainder right remainder is all 
All right. So let's execute. Run and see it. Ten, twenty. Do you see? It is displaying. The sum is thirty. Difference is you know minus ten. Product is two hundred. Quotient is point five. Remainder is ten. Do you see? How it is displaying us? Okay. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Okay. And since you want a space over here, so before you start, give a space here at the beginning of the line, and then at the beginning of the question over here. Okay. Fine. Is this clear, everybody? how to implement a simple calculator okay now we will extend it further okay i want to implement all these things in a function so we will implement a simple calculator now we, we will use something new which we call it as a function okay let's see how to implement a function and whenever we are implementing the functions okay you should know just two things one is to create a function okay you should know how to create the function and then you should know how to call the function okay if you know these two things then you can write any kind of function okay you should know how to create the function you should know how to call the function okay Okay, Ritu, what happened? Your debug viewer is not there. Okay, let me see. Okay, if I can find a patch, then I will send it to you, Ritu. Okay, Ritu, Prerna, and then um, Madhu. Okay, it is there, but showing the database. Everybody. Okay, let me check then. Okay, Ritu, do one thing. Share your screen. Let me see whether it is like not installed or what has exactly happened there. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770- Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.